In today's episode guys we shall be taking a look at the brand new Pixar movie that came out this year and we shall be giving you the evidence to make your mind up whether you like or dislike this movie or agree or disagree with me. So let's get on to it without further ado, this is Turning Red. Hi guys, this is CK from the RNI YouTube channel and today we shall be taking a look at the 2022 movie Turning Red, which is obviously this year if you're not thick and forget the year. Either way, there you go. So this movie is about... Uh, a woman called, or a girl, should I say, named uh, Ming Li, who is struggling at school. She's, well, she's doing good at school. She's quite a nerd, but struggles to make friends at school because of how she's more of a goody two shoes or a nerd and she doesn't really get along with people. However, when she gains, a pa uh, gains the power of becoming a panda, she realizes that her popularity so slowly increases and when people find out she is the panda then she really becomes quite popular and this is how the uh the rivalry sort of thing with her and mother starts to escalate as her mother wants her to be focusing more on uh school and getting good grades rather than being distracted with her friends pissing about uh, around with this panda and her mother wants her really to get rid of this panda because it's a family heritage curse and she doesn't want her messing around with this because it's quite dangerous and takes over and she believes and her family believe that if she lets it carry on it'll get too powerful and she won't be able to control it anymore so yeah and this panda is revealed every time she gets angry or emotional and of course this is going to cause um, an issue because if you're a little angry a little upset turn to a fucking panda it's not the best of things to have a panda walking around the fucking streets and that was it exactly so uh this, this movie is also about showing um that you as a person have a choice and where you want to go in life and that nobody can make that choice for you or force you to go down a path that you do not want to go down and i think that is shown throughout this movie that ming li wants to go down one path but her mother wants her to go down another and be uh, sort of a nerd and to be trying hard at school and to be not focusing on boys or, or to be to be pissing around with the mates which this movie represents really so anyways let's get on to the positives and negatives and let's see if you agree or disagree with anything that i think's good and i think's bad let's get on to it so let's get on to the first positive then so to me the first positive is the uniqueness of the story and you might be thinking if you watched other reviews of mine you might be thinking you use that for everything well not well i do but the ones that we've done so far the reviews that we've done the stories have been pretty good and only certain times i've questioned how the story is and to me the uniqueness of the story is key uh, especially for a disney movie is in the past i know people have complained that they focus more on sequels and prequels rather than a new movie and especially in pixar if you look at it there's probably more sequels and prequels and more franchises within disney pixar than there is in the whole of disney classics and disney classics has been going on a long long time because you rarely see disney classics have three films you know there's maybe one or two that have like three films in whereas for disney pixar you've got toy Story, you've got cars you've got uh, finding well not finding Nemo or Incredibles but either way you've got those two uh, which have got plus three and I think there's several more going to be added to that list of ones that are going to get more prequels more sequels you name it and to me I'm glad that this time they chose hey hope well the, I think they've done it for like the past three or four years now where they've actually created newer newer stories and newer films as because the last three have been soul i think there was one before that and then this one that have been not sequels or prequels like incredibles and and finding nemo and uh, finding dory sorry um so yeah i like the uniqueness of this story as it, it like i said before it follows ming lee going to li going through her life at school and struggling to become mates with people and then she finds something that helps people like her more and she and it's not too harmful neither and she can have fun while also 
keeping on track of her work and things like that and it shows that you can have both and she wanted both whereas her mother just wanted her to focus on her work because she didn't think socializing with people would get her good grades even though it showed she could do both and it showed that she should choose her own life and her own path and that's what i like about this movie there's a good moral behind it because in most disney pixar and disney movies there is also a moral behind it and this moral sticks uh, with me especially since i watched it a few weeks ago it's still stuck in my head now what the moral really is picking your own path and so on and so forth so to me i think the uniqueness of this story goes a long long way for me in terms of how i see this movie as i haven't seen another one like it i think it's quite unique it's quite different to all the other pixar movies like up up isn't like any of the other pixar movies is it or ratatouille isn't like any of the other pixar movies so it's like that to me and i think they found that making new movies people like them more because if you look at it up wally um and ratatouille people rave those how good those movies actually are uh, and i think coco or that is that a disney classic i'm not sure but those sorts of movies people like and prefer because the sort of like hard hitters and one-off films where you can go oh that was great you don't need to spoil it by making a sequel no doubt about it one of these uh lonely films like soul and and uh this movie that that, that we're talking about turning red will probably have a sequel one day because disney will mess with it and go oh we need a prequel or a sequel <laughs> but to me i think they need to leave prequels and sequels alone and just focus on um delivering like one-off films in which one-off stories i know it's going to be harder to come up with fresh ideas every time but i'd like them to see them decrease in the in the prequels and sequels and go more down this route into creating a unique story so the next positive for me is the animation the animation is so crisp in this movie if you watch my shrek movie review you'll see that i say that the animation is the only thing really that's a little off and that could be improved to this day and this animation is so crisp and could be used anywhere and anything would look crisp so this is what i'm saying this sort of animation if they use that on Shrek, that could make Shrek better and make it even better as a movie. And like I said, with this, I think this movie delivered because of that positive of how crisp the movie was. If you used the animation of, let's say, I don't know, Toy Story and Shrek, I think, I don't think the movie would have been half as good. If you get what I'm saying, I think you'd have probably looked at that movie and gone, the animation's not right. <laughs> animation's not right the story's good the animation's not right and to me that's that's how i view this movie i think that the animation was right the story was right everything visually and mentally was fine you know what i mean and to me it created a great film great movie and honestly it, if you look at minions and the like despicable me they have changed how animation is and disney are showing they can compete with illumination and all and uh dreamworks with their animation that they're continuing to grow disney and that they will not stop until they are the best leading animation i think they are at the minute but they are still competing they are still trying to be better which is all you can ask for for a movie making company that they're continuously bringing out good quality movies and good quality content uh, as well so yeah so let's get on to the negatives because i'm bored of the positives let's go on to the negatives to say a massive thank you to our viewers and our likers and subscribers who are consistently watching our youtube channel and it is just me saying thank you to you and i just want to say a big big thank you we appreciate it and we hope the con and i hope you continue to like subscribe and comment to help our channel grow our aim is to get to 50 subs by the end of the year and you can help us by hitting that like button hitting that subscribe button and getting in the comments to let us know what things you want to see on the channel because i want to i want criticisms i want positives from this channel so then we can help this grow let's get on to the negatives so let's get on to the negatives so to me the, the only negative for me is well 
in general, it's not really my opinion, but I think in general people will notice this. So I've probably got to bring it up. And this is the fact that this movie has that edge to it, which is for more girls. Too jazzy? They are a little too jazzy, yes. Uh, too jazzy? Yeah. Yeah, too jazzy. If you, if you watch it, you'll see what I mean. And uh, it's very girls and women orientated. So if you're a man or a male, it's not that you can't watch it. I think, like me, I still really fucking enjoyed it. And I would say it's one of the best Pixar movies I've watched in the last 10 years. However, if you're not wanting to watch that type of movie, this ain't, this ain't for you. Um, because this really follows a girl at school and a woman at school who's finding her own feet and uh, finding her own way. And to me, I don't think this movie is for everyone, especially... Unless you're open-minded and will watch any movie, let's just say. Um, but yeah, I would say that this, in some people's eyes, would be as a girly movie. No, that, that that's the only negative I can really bring on this. And it's not the movie's fault as such. It's just how um, society is going, which is fine. You know what I mean? And I still love this movie. Let's not let's not pretend. I don't, I think this movie's great, but I just think maybe if, I, to me, I prefer movies that are for everyone, okay? So if, if you look at Toy Story, male, maybe that's more male-orientated, but to me, I think that's a movie for everyone where everyone could sit down and watch it. Whereas this one, for me, is a bit more lenient to women a little bit, and you could probably pick another Pixar movie that's more men. Or women. It's, it's just the way... The cookie crumbles, and to me, I don't think this one is movie forever. I think this one's more like uh, Frozen, just not Frozen's like that way, like a proper princessy movie. Whereas this one's just a little turn to the left, which is sort of like it's it's not too far over for me. Where I won't say that it's 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 terrible because of that reason. I would say it's it's a decent movie, and this is my opinion. I just think I'd prefer movies that are for everybody and that everybody can sort of interact with and get to know it a bit better. It's sort of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sort of like um, when you're watching it, sort of think, oh yeah, relate, relate to to what the characters are and what, so if you're a man, I don't think you would really relate to the characters as much, which might you, you might not, you know, Get into it as much, but I thought it was really good, and there were some cool, funny moments in there as well. So yeah. So now let's get into the summary on what I think, what the rating I think this movie is, and what rating IMDb rate it, and what Rotten Tomatoes rate it. So let's get onto this. So without further ado, let's get onto the summary. So to me, to summarise this particular movie, our first Pixar movie on this YouTube channel. If you'd like to see more, obviously get in the comments. But I think this movie is an 8 out of 10 for me. And if you've watched some of my other videos, that is one of the best ratings of all the reviews so far. It's not the best. I think that's still Jaws and then Shrek second. However, this is still pretty good, in my opinion, in terms of animated movies. And I think it's one that I'll probably end up watching again because I didn't mind it. I think the story was brilliant. The moral was brilliant. What's not to love? Um, and also I think this is a very classical movie for me where it's one that that will stay in my mind now as a classic movie where you go okay I want to bang on I don't know Toy Story 3 it's a classic movie sit down and watch it or whatever you know what I mean and you can just sit there watch it enjoy it and then put it away simple and it'll be one of my favourites as well in terms of animated movies from recent years, especially because there hasn't been many standouts, in my opinion, over the past recent years of big animated movies. But hey ho. So Rotten Tomatoes rate this a 94%, in which is incredible. And to compare that, that is Iron Man's rating. So Iron Man and Turning Red are practically the same. Just saying. And we've also done an Iron Man movie review, so go check that out as well. See if I can put a link in the description or just something at the end. So you can go and click on that and check that out. So 94% is damn good. So what did IMDb rate it? Hmm. They rated it 
in which to me is quite an insult to this movie I think because obviously this is what fans rate it more than anything and I think they've underwhelmed it very low in my opinion because 7.1 is ridiculously low I rated it an 8 IMDB uh, obviously Rotten Tomatoes sorry rate this really high and I just think they're being quite the people who watch this are being quite I don't know limited to, to how they rate this movie because I just think, how, what else could you improve in it? That's what I would ask the people in the simple one. Let me know what you could improve about this movie or uh, any negatives, positives you want to add in or if you disagree with anything I've said today, get down in the comments below and let me know what you think. So without further ado, like, subscribe and comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. Before you go, click this one to see more reviews like this one. Honestly, full playlist here for you to go and check out click this one however if you just want to watch another just one more video just click this one this is our newest video right here or if if you just sort of hmm hmm not bothered about another video well i've got a treat for you just hit that subscribe button so then you're led to the newest one so then if you're not too bothered now you can come back later and also press that notification bell as well. It will really help us out. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know like I said in the comments down below. What films you want to see in here. And we can do it for you. Thanks.